It's the one you've all been waiting for. It's the last tour on Hey Go for me. Hello, let's see who's in. I see Lexi's there. Hopefully not too many people because I can't sing. LS is in the house. Lady Pizzazz, John D, Lexi, Margaret G. Um, here we are. So you will have seen in the notes. I said, well, we might be, we might be walking by the river. We might be at home. Home. And uh, what happened is it's been raining, raining, raining. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. I wanted to walk you by the river. I wanted to walk by the river, not you by the river. You know what I mean? And uh, suddenly it's gorgeous sunshine. So I'm very, 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 very annoyed. The only thing is this is going to take uber concentration to uh, delve into my, my memories. My memories, our shared memories. Um, so perhaps walking by the river wouldn't necessarily have helped because I'd have been going, oh, look, a duck, or oh, look, a swan, or oh, look, some dog poo I just trod in. So it may be actually more sensible that I am indeed here at home where I can cause less carnage. And you never know, there might be a showing of the peach or the non-peach. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Betty. How is everybody? How is everybody? Is everybody doing okay as the deadline nears? And how are we all uh, doing with regards to the, uh... oh my goodness, I've got to download my postcards. Is everybody, is everybody fine? Is, is anybody there? Am I talking to, I... oh, whoops, carry on. You're there, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. It just looks like it's a private tour between you and me at the moment. Um, either that or the chat's very sluggish. Oh, Lexi's doing postcards now. Oh, so sorry, actually, Kathy. It's a private tour between yourself, myself, and Lexi. Um, it says there's nine, nine, nine. Oh, Lady Pizzazz did her postcards all on day one. Well, I thought I'd done everything tickety boo, and then I looked, and some hadn't downloaded. So that was a head spin. And I do wish I'd spent more time checking they'd been done properly the first time. But it is what it is. As they say, it is what it is. And on saying that, we have Pam and Eli who have joined us, meow, followed quite swiftly by Mike, non-meow. I think there's, oh, I can see my counter's dropped already. Somebody's already got bored and dropped off. Oh, well, whoopsie. Um, it's only the pre-life people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm sure it'll be so super exciting. Um, I mean, I did think I could go in the garden and then at least we'd be outside. I've been I've been terrified about this. I haven't been terrified. That's such a super exaggeration. I have been thinking about this the whole time. I've been thinking, what will people want? Hello, Claire. Hello, SK. Hello, Diane. Um, do people need me to sit outside looking at my face? Is this ruining for everybody? Just trying to do a bit of liposuction. Oh, you won't be sad today, Claire. Hello, Adrian. We're not going to be sad. This is a celebration. It's a celebration. Um, let's not focus too much on the word that it sounds like a bra. Celebration. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. We're going to have a lot of fun today and we're just going to meander into the new journey. Um, uh, whatever the new journey will be. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Margaret. Because I've been so busy um, downloading tours, postcards, dealing with the new Facebook group and the uh, Guide Collective that I haven't had any chance to do anything with the old YouTube yet. Um, oh, well, good, Cathy. Um, I'll be honest. I, I would like to think it was more than just once. Laughter is my gift. That's very nice. Oh, belated hello, Leonie. The so sorry, the silly mute was on. Ah, right. I was going to say, well, I can't hear you anyway, LS. But then I clicked. Oh, <laughs> she's not talking to me. LS, your technical prowess goes before you. Why should anything change now? Exactamondo. Hello, Jane. How is everybody? It's uh, been a wonderful Easter, I would say, if I'd actually had any downtime whatsoever. Still downloading, they shouldn't have encouraged. Well, I mean, I'll be honest, Natalie and I, myself, Natalie and I 
did say that, you know, let's not push the whole postcard number off. So we weren't on the number of postcard boat um, because, uh, yeah, I mean, th there's masses. Um, fortunately, I think only a, a handful went over the 100 postcard mark. Um, and when they did, my phone would say, warning, warning, you will be ejected. Um, your, your browser could crash. Your hair will turn green. And I was like, I'm going to risk it because actually I wouldn't mind green hair. Um, sadly, it didn't happen. Um, did actually dye my hair blue one year during COVID. When a trifle green, I quite liked it. I would have liked to. The trouble is my hair's too thin and fine. It just doesn't have the blocks of colour. Hello, Rosemary. Hello, Seth. Hello, Liz. Hello, Chris. Well, that's interesting. You're both joining. Um, oh, hold on. Hold on. Don't be naughty, naughty. Now with the chat. Um, Tisha Licious has joined. I'm now in Barcelona flying to Rome on Wednesday, so I'm quite excited. How amazing. Well, well, the thing is, Andrew, the other thing is, if you ever went to yourself, oh, my goodness, I really want to uh, have some postcodes, go to live virtually, see the world. And so has anybody got some postcards from that tour? And I bet they'd be able to share them. It's not a blue rinse, but thank you, Michael. You're such a sweetie. Um, he's in the kitchen. Oh, making dinner, is he? Make us some tea. I haven't had my tea yet. Dinner, whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, now he's telling me he's in the kitchen. Your wife already said that. Hello, Charity. Hello, Tess. Um, hello, Beatrice. Oh, I think I'm up to date on the chat now. Oh, a million pics. I mean, goodness gracious me. Goodness gracious me. Sorry if the screen's pinging. It's me trying to manage the chat. Hello, Anthony. Hello, Anne. If I haven't said hello to anybody who's joined, it's because the chat is a bit jumpy. So if you think of the chat a bit like a kangaroo, but less furry and without a pouch, then that probably will describe what I'm looking at at the moment. As, uh, uh, so um, so Liz only downloaded approximately 30. Is that 30 tools or 30 uh, postcards? As long as they were all my tools, Liz, I don't mind. Um, Ah, oh, Seth, you're check well, the thing is, I think that's because there's a multitude of tours on because we're all going, quick, let's get one last tour in. Hello, Ruth. Uh, I nearly said rude. Sorry. Hello, Ruth. I was so shocked by only 30 postcards. Only 30 postcards? I'm hitting the hot cross buns after five tours, hopping around. Well, that's fabulous. I do love a hot cross bun. So I just had a thought. Do I have any hot cross buns? I don't. I think I contemplated buying them. You never know with me. I might have put something like a uh, kitchen towel over them and then find them in five weeks. Dorna, Dorna's here. Ah, oh, Claire, thank you very much. That's very kind of you to share that link. Dorna, Dorna, if you can hear, don't think that I didn't read your YouTube comment and laugh a lot. I've read everybody's uh, YouTube comments. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Marge. Um, there was some absolutely lovely uh, comments, and then there was Dorna. Um, made me chortle quite a lot. Um, I think you weren't the only person who to write something a little bit naughty. Naughty, not that kind of naughty. So we've got five minutes and 45 seconds to go. Um, I am super sure, super sure, because I'm Sean Connery, that um, the tour is going to fly by today. So um, uh, let's all just put our feet up. Well, not me, because I'm sat down. I knocked myself unconscious. Um, what I find incredible is I have done, this will be my 83rd or 84th tour. tour. And um, hello, JB. Hello, Deborah. And um, yeah, well, I've done a few from home, haven't I? And each time what I've done is I've lowered my seat because I've been uh, too high, too high for my, my phone and my gimbal. Hello, Susan. So imagine my kind of like, I've got an inbuilt extender in my tripod. Why don't I just do that and actually sit normally? And you know when you think to yourself, hmm, really, really lonely. You couldn't have thought of that like, 81 tours ago would would that have been a stretch why don't you wait for the last tour to actually work out how you you need to set your chair yes yeah, splendid hello casey what's tish writing oh i'm high no i'm not high thank you very much i stay off the strong stuff hello susan hello margaret 
it's got cobwebs in it. Tishlicious. Tishlicious. Hi, Tish. We liked me crouching on the floor. Well, I didn't. My probably knees probably were. It was ridiculous. Um, the only thing is with the extender, obviously, you don't get that really stable image, which is fine as long as I don't smack it, um, which, as you know, is always a possibility. Hello, Candice. Candice? Candice. Mm, you're going to have to help me on that one. Somebody help me, Can Candice. I don't like it when people pronounce my name wrong. Hello, Chloe, you popped in. I didn't even see you. Oh, no, you popped in because you've just popped in. I have seen you. Okay, right, I'll shut up. Can't pronounce, can't say hello. Always wondered what a lot of junk, Liz, a lot of junk. I've got fleeces to hide the lot of junk that is sitting by Candice. Well, that's what I thought, but the A throw me. Throw me? Throw me. See, I can't talk. Too overexcited. So exciting. Last haul. Um... I have, funnily enough, got a massive sheep cushion underneath. Um, yes, you call me the witty kitty queen of Kent. Beatrice did her first Hago tour the April the 10th, 20th. Wow, two years. A herd of cats. Yes, I don't want a herd of cats. I think six is more than plenty. More than plenty. I've changed the litter tray. I mean, this is breaking news for you. Everybody will be like raving about this tour. I've changed the litter tray so that um, Peachy doesn't position her bottom over the edge of it. So it's quite a high roof. No, I don't mean high roof, do I? High edges. Hello, Jill. Hello, Joan. And um, so what she did is she managed to chuck it all out the bit at the front, but I'm hope hoping that it will improve the situation. Hello, Kirsty. Um, because quite frankly, it does get a bit tedious. She's like, oh, look, litter trick. Hello, Nancy. Did I say hello, Nancy? Because I'm now getting confused about the hellos, the goodbyes, the yes, right, splendid. Anybody got anything exciting to tell me before we go live? Oh, my Lord. My former neighbour had 25 cats, but it was a farm. I'm guessing they were ferals or semi-ferals or indeed what you call Oh, Dawn has spilled coffee all over a sofa. I hope it's uh, something uh, something that you can um, wash off. It was in bits. I'm not going to be in bits because I'm going to rock it today. I've um, I've li I, I cried. I'm not going to cry twice. You can't make me. Um, oh well, there you are, Dawn. In fact, I think it was something you did deliberately. Chuck. Oh, I need a new sofa. Um, when the time for a tour is listed, is that shown in my time zone? Um, right. So, well, it depends, but I imagine so. But I would, um, we're all going to have to feel our way around this. So YouTube, I'm fairly sure. Right. Yes. YouTube should show in your time zone because it will understand what time zone you're in. Um, Mike, if you can answer all YouTube questions, um, that would be great. We can designate Mike, Mike, the YouTube, YouTuber. Um, hello, Elizabeth. Yes, well, I'll be honest. Uh, Dessa doesn't like Cato. Uh, Dessa doesn't particularly like any of them, to be honest. Um, so, um, sometimes you don't have a harmonious household. Dawna, you know what a calendar is? A calendar is so that you can, um, so you can actually put appointments in and set reminders. It's amazing. Oh, set an alarm on your clock. Hello, Camillo. Hello, Maggie. And we are literally counting down to going live. Uh, well, Gabby, may I suggest you, Maggie, why am I saying Maggie? Sorry, Dawna, I suggest that what you do is have an audio alarm and then you don't need to look. Right. Here we are. Here we are. We're on the nose. We'll say hello to Ginny as you just squeezed her way in. So hello and welcome. This is indeed my last tour on Hago. So if you're not following me already, why not? Give it a go. It'll increase my numbers. You won't get really notifications of any new tours because there won't be any. But you might see a post if I make one. Maybe unlikely. Whatevs. Then at the bottom left, you have the chat button. You can chat to me, you can question me, you can say whatever you like, as long as it's within boundaries. 
and I will try and answer depending on how quickly the chat is going through. What I will say is I struggle to read the blue boxes. Um, so um, not the tip ones, lols. Um, so Beatrice, thank you very much. Now I know what's going to happen. I'll, I'll talk to you about tipping in a moment. In the bottom middle, you've got a postcard button. By all means, take postcards, although it's only really going to be my face. Um, might get the peach in. Um, but um, on the left, as you know, hey, go guys, we're all self-employed. We rely on the generosity of your tips. Thank you very much, for Beatrice, for your tip. I know some people are asking whether or not I've got a buy me a coffee. Claire, like magic or magic? Magic. I do have a buy me a coffee. And just like that, that's my buy me a coffee. Or indeed, I have a PayPal, which is on my private group. If you're not on my private group, Leonie on tour, please do join me. It's going to be super. And well, it is super rather. And the other thing is you can actually um, keep up to speed on what I am doing. If you haven't already, also, please join uh, Live Virtually, See the World. It is Live Virtually, but I know uh, uh, John in his town, call, town hall did call it Live Virtually. And I was like, mm -hmm. Said it wrong. <laughs> um, so I haven't got a calendar Marge yet. So um, what we can do is if you've got any questions relating to future tours of main guides, if we if you can uh, squeeze that on the Live Virtually uh, Facebook site, um, because unfortunately I can't answer on behalf of anybody else. So really today what I wanted to do is look back since I joined Hago. Um, I've spent the last few days downloading tours, downloading postcards, like a lot of you. My first tour was on Saturday the 13th of March at 7.15pm. I was on Facebook and I'd seen an advert for Hago, Mammoth Hot Springs. Oh, I say, well, that looks lovely. And I booked it. And I was like, I'm not sure. What is this? What is this? I'll try it. And then it was cancelled. I was like, okay right fine but there was another date put in so I, I booked it and that time came round, and I felt a bit rubbish so um, I cancelled it and I booked it again and goodness me third time lucky Shia Mills probably said that wrong she was my first well she is she was my first guide so she's the one that made me think oh my goodness this looks rather exciting and then what I did was I seem to have booked quite a lot of tours because when I was looking at my postcards and the dates, um, I remember Lexi and I, um, w w we became friends quite, quite soon and we were like going on a lot of tours. And I know that uh, a few of you get that kind of as soon as you find it. What I used to do is um, I used to go on to the places because at the time, two years ago, there weren't as many, uh, certainly not as many as there, as there were ne are now. And um, I would go, oh, my goodness, but I really want to go there. They didn't have tours yet. And Iceland was one that was kind of coming soon. And I was so exciting, so excited even. Capri, oh, I want to go to Capri. Um, all these places. And I was book, book, book. I think the most tours I did in one day was about five when I had the day off. And I was kind of like, oh, this is getting, I did the same as you. I'd be watching the TV and I'd want to press a postcard to take a photo and um, I was thinking you know about you know so the very first tours I did I went to Dubrovnik does anybody went to Dubrovnik and what was fascinating about some of these tours is that I could see that actually I couldn't go there in person because it's too high I'm scared of heights so I was like oh I couldn't walk around those walls but it it was wonderful so um is it Nicola or Nicholas? Nicola? Nicola? I should remember. I know how to spell it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Nicola. Yeah. Fantastic. And I was bled. Who knew? Because back in COVID, I was actually due to go to Croatia. And one of the places I was going to be going to was bled. And bled was there. Oh, my goodness. With Neza and uh, Neja. I can't uh, just, you know whatever, bear with me, pretend I can't pronounce anybody's name at the moment, Banff, oh my goodness gracious me, because Banff turned into a bit of a, a decision, as in, when you go to Banff, you meet, obviously Pam, lovely Pam, but I met Patrick Toomey, and I was like, oh, hello Nat, 
oh, well, there's there's all these tours. Mm hmm. Booky, booky, booky. Um, South Africa went on safari. I'll be honest, didn't see a thing really. But it was kind of, oh, I'm on safari. How exciting. Didn't see a thing. But again, that was with Ash. Great tour. Amsterdam, another one. You were like, oh, well, I've been to Amsterdam. I stayed on a boat. Here. Oh, but look at this. You've got Stefan, you've got Mark, you've got Lee. Oh, I'm liking Amsterdam. Machu Picchu. Oh, it was so exciting. The thing is with Hago is it's the level of excitement you had. Literally, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm going to Machu Picchu. And you got there. Oh my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't see a thing. Cannot see a thing because of the mist. And the, the level of disappointment. But I can't see Machu Picchu. I'm gonna have to. So I booked again. Uh, eventually managed to see Machu Picchu in all of its glory and the llamas. But it was kind of that thing, you were really hyped up, the excitement and oh my goodness, then the excitement, of course, let's not forget the excitement of going somewhere and realising the guide did not have a gimbal. Right, well, that was literally the worst thing ever. I can't watch this. I can't watch this. I mean, jiggle, 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 jiggle. I can't watch this. What kind of nonsense is this? Or if you completely cannot understand a thing. Because they're talking so quickly, I'm like, what? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. my brain, I can't, <laughs> I don't want to work, I can't. <gasps> so that level of disappointment, and you'd be like, raging. I need to book another tour now, this is ridiculous. And then you'd find something else, and you'd suddenly be in Egypt, and you'd be like, oh, I say. So I remember Leslie on the Nile. Prague, Santorini, all these amazing places. And then on the 30th of March, bear in mind I only joined on the 13th of March. Let me post an image for you because I'm highly skilled like that. Says she pressing the wrong image and ruining everything. Well, oh, thank you, Marlene. Who remembers Albert's volcano? I mean, it wasn't his volcano, to be fair. Let's not exaggerate. He didn't make it, but he did take us there. Um... The longest tour of actually not doing anything, which is possibly where the community started to build. Because even though, I mean, I'll be honest, and I don't want to speak badly of this woman, but there's a woman that was on these tours and she'd make these comments about a lamb. And I'll be honest, I had no clue what this woman is on about. She'd be offering drinks, she'd be talking about her lamb. I was really confused because I was like, does she actually have this lamb? And I kind of felt a bit out of it. I was like, hmm, not really sure. During the tour to the volcano, I actually managed to ask this woman, what is it with the lamb? Is it a real lamb? No, it's not a real lamb. Of course it's not, it's Tish. Everybody now knows. I mean, it is a real lamb, obviously, Tish. We know it's a real lamb. But what I mean is it's not a real lamb. Um, and then you start recognising the names. and um, that was amazing. So you'd join a tour and inevitably Lexi and Tish would be there um, because, you know, all of us were like, oh, I would be hello, hello. We are sometimes, we probably were really annoying to everybody else. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, my goodness. Because in those days, it was a free for all. There weren't that many people, particularly on the tour. Then, of course, and I can see the man, the man has joined. So I was on this tour and I started chatting to a bloke about lava. Heavens above, I, 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 I don't know why we're talking about lava. And I got a friend request from this chap. And I accepted that. I was like, I don't actually know him, but we did have a conversation about lava. I'll accept. I checked out his profile. He looks okay. So I wound my mother up. I remember I was staying with mum's. I've just accepted a friend request from a man I've never met. She was like, yes, yes. She said, mm, is, is that wise? I was like, Yes, I'm not sure, Mummy. He might be just after my body, knowing full well he wasn't after my body. Well, maybe he's after my money, knowing full well he's not after my money either. But he does like my cats. So welcome, Scott. That was how we bonded over some lava and the friend request. And I think Scott was the first one. And I did enjoy winding up my mother at that point. Um, 
<laughs> me too, Scott. And I remember us having chats. And this is a thing when I was going through my postcards, it brought back some of the chats. So I remember a conversation that Scott and I were having about how appalling it all was. We were having, you know, the guide's no longer in Hague, but it was really funny. We were just having a side conversation. Um, and I'm sure they're a lovely person. It was just myself and Scott and everybody else loved the talk. But that was really, you know, these links that we were building was just fabulous. I went skiing. I went skiing on Hago. I have never, ever wanted to ski because I'm scared of speed. I don't like heights. And uh, yes, Lexi, we did. Um, and then suddenly I'm able to ski without actually doing any exercise, which is just my best, you know, a great Patrick skiing. <laughs> like, well, this is quite nice. Goes a bit quick. And then I laughed because I saw a tour on the 2nd of April, Virtual Trips Becomes Hago. I remember the outrage. Thank you, Ruth. The absolute outrage. The Facebook page. Oh, my goodness. Never heard such a dreadful name. I had a conversation with my mother. I mean, I'll be honest, mother. What is this, Hago? It's ridiculous. Virtual trips is fine. Why would they change it? Everybody was, well, it went the way of the pair. Of course, now, what do I think? I love the name Hago. And actually, I can't think that virtual trips, I don't know why I ever liked it. I think you're right, Seth. The name change was probably the first Facebook community explosion. Take some emodium for that. Um, it was ridiculous. Um, but that's part of Hago, isn't it? Not on the new page, of course, darlings. So I was thinking, so I've been on tours. I've been on boats. I've been on walking tours. I've been on a plane. I've been on a helicopter. I've been on horseback, on a gondola. I've been paragliding. I've been on a cable car. I've been biking. I've been on the metro. I've been in canoe, on a reindeer, an observation wheel, bungee jumping, a bus, a helium balloon, helium balloon, an air balloon, and a camel. And all of my sum out. When you think about it, is that not astonishing? And I did all of that without leaving my house. The range of, can I post that list? I can, Tina, if you remind me, because you'll know I'll forget. I've seen tulips and dahlias. I've seen lilies and petunias, roses and carnations. I have seen so much. I have learned about history. The first tour I cried on was when I went to Sarajevo with Dino. And it was the most powerful tour. Dino is an absolutely marvellous guide. I did reach out to Dino because he packs so much information in. And I remember messaging him and said, Dino, please, please could you slow down? talking because he's not he doesn't speak English as his first language and boy that guy can talk and um he was fabulous and I think all of us were having a cry on the tour and to be so immersive what a skill to to actually take us back and to think about and I remember those comments how could this happen never again the same as we went to Babignar with uh, Olga Dudakova. And then just the fun things. Santi in Colombia. Does anybody remember Santi going up Cuatape Rock? Seeing seven wonders of the world. We saw the Great Wall of China. Been there. Saw the pyramids. Been there. Mount Everest Base Camp. Not been. And then on the 22nd of April, I went to Glencoe, climbing a mountain with a certain Craig MacDonald. And that was it. My life changed path. I became a Scottish addict. The Highlands. And Craig is forever stuck with me. I became his unofficial promoter. And teaser within the chat. And um, 
it was fascinating because I remember saying, and I think I've said this before, I looked at Scotland on the map and I was like, well, I'm not going to go to Scotland. Why would I do that? I mean, I live in Britain. And it became the place that I probably loved the most. Um, and Craig is probably the guide, sorry guys, that I love the most because the scenery and the stories. Oh, my goodness. So one day I will go up to Scotland and I will annoy him very much. And the accent, yes. And his little cheekiness. And uh, if we're talking about what methods of transport we used, let's have a think about the animals. So we saw cats, goats, cows, cuddling cows. We saw monkeys, elephants, butterflies, penguins, pandas, polar bears, normal bears, grizzly bears, lions. When we went to, um, in South Africa, there was a, a lion sanctuary and um, clubbed together, Beatrice, Nicole and myself, and we adopted some lions. Um, we took them home, stroked them. And um, uh, before the year was up, got an email to say one of them had died. That went well. We saw whales, puffins, seals, giraffes, koalas, kangaroos. The list goes on. For my mum's birthday, I suggested a family uh, Haco trip. We all went to Odessa. And the reason why we went to Odessa is because my cat's called Odessa. And Olga from Odessa has probably heard me say that several, several times. There were many places I wanted to go in real life, but I'd been to China and one of the places I hadn't been to was Les Han Giant Buddha. And there was a tour and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm loving this. And um, I went to it and I was like, I'm so glad I didn't go because it's super high. Um, and so many steps. How many steps have I actually got out of walking by going on a tour with Hago instead? Oh, Beatrice, now I get what you're saying. Yes, you did make a... Yes, you did try to pay me using PayPal and made an absolute horlix of it. It was fabulous. <laughs> Always a chuckle. Waterfalls. Niagara Falls, Agazu Falls, Victoria Falls. Crick. Caraco Falls. Geezers. Lakes. You name it. No, to be fair, LS, Beatrice did not tip me 14 times. Still trying to work that one out. I'm not sure whether or not the chap in questions actually contacted Hago or whether or not I will be running off with my millions. Of course, one of the things that we like to do is have the audio. So when Leslie put up a silent tour of Luxor, I was like, hmm, not really sure, but quite like to see Luxor. That was absolutely amazing and what's funny is I've now been to Luxor Temple and I actually think I've probably got more from Leslie's silent tour of Luxor than actually being in there in person although to be fair by then I was coming down with Covid and I had a tummy bug so who knows I'll let you know if I go again then of course we didn't just have the things to see we had the ghost stories and the legends and the fairy tales we've learned so much and somewhere, we'll probably never go, we went to see Iran. Of course, now longer, not on Hago at the moment for the political reasons. Um, but that was fascinating to be able to support two female guides in Iran. We saw people living on floating islands. We celebrated festivals. We've celebrated Christmas, Easter, Valentine's. We've done the winter and the summer solstice. We've done sunrises and sunsets. And then the personal stories. So I went to Martin's coming out tour where he spoke about coming out in Germany in the 1970s. Uh, Mark's sex workers in the red light district. Ian's autism. Lily's fibromyalgia. So we're really learning. So it's more, so much more than perhaps people might think it is. The lights and the magical gardens, absolutely fabulous. I love a light show. 
the music, the shows, went to a tour about an and ancestral sounds. Bong! Bing! Postcards don't really give the same vibe, but you know. Went to Golden Gate Bridge. I really want to go to San Francisco. Can we organise a trip that Golden Gate Bridge? How oh my goodness, it's so exciting, so exciting, so exciting. She did about three tours and left again. Ah, I want to see more. The Arc de Triomphe, wrapped by Crystal. I went with Florent. This is Flat Florent Flat from Paris. Oh, I shouldn't do that. Natalie's probably listening. I'm so sorry. Oh, she may never speak to me again. We learned about massacres and wars. And then together we were all embroiled in the war. And for once in my life, something so seemingly far away was so close because now I had friends in um, Ukraine. And I was messaging Olga Kushner and I was having my heart broken and I was terrified for her. And of that, I've made friends that one day I will visit them in Ukraine. And then, of course, we had the different weathers, didn't we? I mean, we know it'd be different weather. What's the, what's the, what's the temperature there? What's the time? Where are we? Oh, those were the early days of Hago. I can't hear you. Unmute. We had guide academies where voyagers joined, and guides didn't really. And guides have taken us on road trips and on their holidays. What time is it? What time is it there? Well, in my time, of course, you asked me, and I forget what time the tour started. I can see how long it's been running. It's about 6.23. Luckily, I used to have Anne, who used to be able to tell people these things. I needed Anne to be able to tell me these things, often when my next tour was. Somebody say, when's your next tour? And Anne would go, right, and I'll be, thanks, thanks, thanks for that. And then we start to think about, this is super cool. I really like that. Oh, I know, before I go there, actually, one of the things I did is I volunteered to be a Hago helper. So I would help, which kind of distracted from the tour because I was the one that somebody said, I can't hear anything. I'd go, unmute. Uh, I can't, I can't connect. Contact support. Over and over. If you saw another Hago helper on there, you were like, <laughs> leave it to them then. I'll just try that. I'll turn off the chat. What I will do is I'm just going to immerse myself. In, no, turn off the chat. I wonder what's happening in the chat. Mm, it appears I can't turn the chat off. So I see on the Facebook group, turn the chat off. They can't. They can't turn the chat off. They don't want to see all the chat, but they can't turn it off. I know this. I don't want to see the chat. I can't turn it off. Who knows what they say? It's fear of missing out. And then, of course, on the Facebook group, I set up Who's That Guide? starting off with, uh, of course, the one and only Craig. Um, and what fun we had. And don't worry, that'll continue in some form. I don't know how. And it was fabulous watching everybody get it wrong. If I'm honest with you, when people got it right, not so much, especially not straight away. It's just unfair. You've got to get to the clues. And the clues, sometimes the answers were, were absolute rubbish. Beatrice, the joy is that you often didn't get it right. That was my joy, especially when there are repeat people getting it completely wrong. That's what makes me happy. <laughs> They're so, they, they haven't even got the right sex. Emma, I think, was somebody was calling her a boy. Um, and, of course, sometimes guides would say, come to me and say, oh, do you want me? I remember Ian approaching me. Oh, he, you know, if you want me to be, oh, no, I didn't know Ian at that time. I'm like, you wait your turn. You wait your turn. 
And if I think you're worthy, I'll come to you. Well, of course, then I decided, of course, he was worthy. And I, I went to him. I was like, yeah, I want to take part. And he did. And it was fabulous. And, of course, we had our real life meetup. So I've now met with a few of you. Casey came across. Probably the longest person. Not the longest person. She's actually normal height. The longest distance. Lexi's just down the road. Uh, Moira came away, but not. I don't know if we're the first or the second. Um, but we're the most important. So that's the thing, isn't it, really? Um, why didn't I discover it? Why didn't you discover me sooner? Because you have been depriving yourself. That's why. Tammy came over. Thank you. Scott nearly came down. Tammy. Well, I'll talk about Tammy in a minute. Do you know what? I've also forgotten. I'm glad to hear that, Fliss. What I'm going to be doing as well is, I mean, I've spent 26 minutes. So I've prepared. So what I'm going, going to be doing is showing you a selection of hats. Now, there's deep meaning for all this selection of hats. So you're going to have to bear with me. No, Scott was literally going to be coming to London, but then the dates all went squiffy and it was like, like a nightmare. So um, it all went Pete Tong. Um, so obviously we spoke about the common issues, the signal. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Signal's not very good. But actually what would happen is the signal was fine. It was their device. So we'd be going, signal's fine. But the guide would see somebody say that the signal's not great. And they'd be like, is the signal OK? And we'd all be going, it's fine. I can't hear. And the guide would go, can you hear me? It's fine. So we'd all just be filling up the chat with, doesn't, can it, can it, can it, can it. it was groovy. And then, of course, they introduced the map. The map. You're in the sea. That's not where you are. You haven't put on your location. So nobody actually knows where you are. And then the trolls. Oh, the trolls. I mean, I've been fairly lucky, to be honest. I mean, to be honest, most of you guys are so rude to me, I'd never know who's a real troll and a fake troll, to be fair. Um, I think I had one in Camber Sands. Camber Sands? Camber Sands. But I wasn't entirely sure. Um, so I just went with it, really. I mean, you know, as long as you're not being terribly rude, um, I'm kind of OK with it. Can ignore them can't you trolls they're just desperate for attention then of course we had the whole issue around the app oh my goodness gracious oh the app i don't want an app i want the website i can't use an app oh i'm not using an app i'm not downloading an app i'm using it on the website never to oh the app's evil i've never i've never known such an evil app in all my life oh my goodness coins who wants coins it's outrageous why are they getting coins? I don't have the app. I don't have coins. I had coins. Got myself a £15 Amazon voucher. Oh, you know, got to have a perk, haven't you? Yeah, then they stopped the coins. No more chocolate coins. Um. Anyway, by the uh, 26th of December, I thought to myself, you know what? I've been, I've been yamming on. I've been yamming on about maybe becoming a Hago guide. So let's stop yamming on. Let's apply. So I've applied. I'm going to apply. Well, maybe they won't accept me. Well, they might think I'm a bit of a loon. Oh, I've got fluff up my nose now. So, um, I applied and they only accepted me. I mean, by golly, by gosh. Um, I won't put it on YouTube because I'm lovely like that. <laughs> I'll have to do stuff with it. So, um, they accepted me and I'm like, oh, I've got stuff up my nose, stuff up my nose. And I'm like, oh, my goodness gracious me. I'm going to have to all I'm going to have to upgrade my phone because my phone battery was dreadful. Uh, it wasn't any good. So I then ended up paying through the nose for this new phone, which is, oh, my goodness, so groovy. Thank you, Craig. It's an oppo. Never knew what an oppo was. Um, it's a phone. It's brilliant. I love it. Turns out after all that, I go through all this with Craig. He must have been doing his nugget in. Woman, shut up about the phone and the microphone. And that says, oh, I've got an oppo. Oh, okay, fine. We've both got oppos. Um, so um, get the oppo. Got loads of data. So much data. I think I must have thought I was going to do 100 tours a month. So I, I don't use my data. I mean, here I am using my Wi-Fi. What a waste of money that was. Ooh. 
only got another eight months to go before I can stop that. Joy, mm, carry on, carry on touring. And the gimbal. Oh, well, that's the next thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness me. Um, oh, no, it's going to be too heavy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to control it. La, la, la. Order a gimbal. Oh, it's beautiful because it's a little shade of pink. It's sunset. Sunset white, a.k.a. a little bit pinky. It's girly. Love it. Boys can use it. Doesn't have to be girly. No stereotypes here. Um, and uh, tried it. It was at my sister's. I'm going to try the gimbal. La, la, la. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What? Floppy. Whoop. Oh, well, it's broken. It's broken. I've altered a gimbal and it's broken. So I remember messaging uh, Patrick. Oh, it doesn't work. It's absolutely broken. And he gave me a voice call. Right, you need to turn on your Bluetooth. He doesn't speak like that at all. Turn on your Bluetooth. Oh, it's amazing when you turn on your Bluetooth. It actually does. Hello, Janie. It actually does what you, what you would expect it to do. So actually, oh, that's super. It's not broken. This one is probably, you know, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit too, a uh, little bit too, a uh, little bit too tiny for me because I'm not actually little. Um, so that was great, actually. Then let's do some test tours. So, oh, my goodness gracious, I'm walking around my sister's. You know, she lives in a bungalow. It's bungalow city. Oh, I'm walking around with my gimbal. Oh, I'm talking to myself. Oh, I'm so amazing. Look at me. I'm on the telly. Um, so that was amazing. And then I set, I'd set up my uh, private Facebook group by now and um, I was sharing the videos and everybody's like, oh, Leonie, yeah, no, that's good. That's actually the right speed. We think you're going to be super. So, great, no, super. I'm amazing. I'm good. I've got this. So I prepared my first Cattery tour on the uh, 26th of February, I think it was. And um, I'm like, groovy, that's fine. Two months after I'd applied, you know, wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing so I had to do the videos and then show the videos in the cafeteria tickety boo Kate's there she's on hand if anything goes wrong about 15 minutes before we're due to start and she gets a phone call from her daughter <laughs> mum I've got COVID and it's like I'm gonna die I'm like look Alice you're not gonna die okay you're really young you're gonna be tickety boo okay she's fine Kate goes, well, I better take a test then, hadn't I? Yeah, you had better take a test, thanks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, I've been following her all around while she's coughing in my face. Takes a test while I'm there. Oh, look, I've got COVID. Right, fine. So this is my first tour. First tour. And you can't be here because you've got COVID. I'll watch. So she goes off to watch from her house. I'm like, do you know what? Just throw me in at the deep end because now I might have COVID. So then I had to declare to my mother. I'd rung her before to say, Mummy, Kate's got COVID and she's been coughing in my face. She didn't answer. I was like, oh, well, you don't care that I might have COVID then. Uh, so I told her on tour, well, Mummy, by the way, didn't get COVID. So uh, she obviously didn't cough in my face enough. Did the first tour and that was marvellous. And I was like, oh, super. Let's do one for Ukraine animal shelters, because, of course, by now the war's a thing. So I went to Porchester Castle, did make clear I will not be talking to you about Porchester Castle because I know nothing about Porchester Castle. It's Tales of Cypriot Cat Rescue, which I do know about because I was there. I'll get a message in the chat. Are you not going to tell us anything about the castle? No, I'm not going to tell you anything about the castle, not only because I said I wasn't going to, and also because I know nothing about the castle, not a sausage, not one little iota of information do I know about the castle, except for it's here. And it's actually run by English Heritage. So please don't ask embarrassing questions. And my mother was helping. She had, because of course this was days before you'd insert images. So she had my folder of my photos, and I'm really like, Mum, Mum, well, then there was the point where mum started chatting to somebody because she's a bit like me. Oh, hello, chat, chat, chat. I'm like, mum, mum, can you come over? You've got my folder with the images. So she comes over with the folder and the images and she's wearing a mittens. And she's uh, trying to get in the folder with these mittens. It's like watching a crab. I'm like, mum, kind of, we're live? Mum, we're live? Mum, 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 maybe take the mittens off? Ever since Katie at the Cattery called her mummy mittens. So, yeah, that was great fun, that was. I'm like, it's all right. 
just make me look completely unprofessional. I mean, it wouldn't matter, but I've got two recordings of that tour because I hadn't put my phone on properly and it kept going squiffy. And I was like, the gimbal's broken, the gimbal's broken. Oh, my goodness. And then it was like, no, I just haven't put it onto the gimbal properly. And that was all my fault. I spent about 10 minutes going, oh, my goodness. I remember being under a bush trying to tweak my gimbal. And, uh, well... Then, of course, I thought to myself, right, this is all amazing. But actually, I've spent quite a lot of money getting a new phone contract, quite a lot of money getting a gimbal. What I probably ought to do is let's see if I could actually do a proper tour. So I spent days and days researching Rye. And I'm going to let you into a secret. I had not signal tested. No, nope, not signal tested. Natalie had said to me, yeah, I think it's all right. And I decided, right sure be okay so tammy came down and um i said i'll take you to rye we'll do a tour there best bit was her tripping over the pavement that was fun um and fortunately the signal was good um and i did my first tour and i was like wow i i actually did that and um i mean you know that went quite well and then i thought let's do more Let's just jolly well do more tours. And that is what I did. Um, still obviously did a lot of cat tours. The great thing is, is that over a year I raised a thousand pounds for the RSPCA. The bad news is, is they need so much money, they spent it very quickly. But without you guys and your support, that wouldn't have happened. So that's amazing. And, you know, that was like, wow, this is what we did. Um, and actually, let's not turn the camera around because the, that's the wrong button. Firstly, I'm going to put this in, which I should have sent before. That is uh, a screenshot from one of the lovely Craig's tours. I mean, look at that. How could you not? How could you not be obsessed with it? And then, of course, what we had is we had John and Leo. And you met them when they're about a week old and you shared their journey. And. Oh, my goodness, it was a challenging journey when they wouldn't eat properly, when they wouldn't toilet properly. And now they are just delightful cats. So they're about a year now, I think. Um, and. Then we had, of course, Apollo and Freya. So Lepesh was uh, one that obviously fine. And, and I actually will always blame Hago for Apollo because it was Michelle who said, Leonie, I love your cat tours. You're going to be doing any more. And I said, we've had nine in. Nine kittens. I said, let me go and have a look. And to, I thought, yeah, I could probably do that. So I popped them all into this cat basket and there was this one little kitten was trying to escape looking at me going, hello, my name's Apollo. He didn't actually do that at all, but um, he might as well have done. Was it love at first sight? Absolutely. Absolutely. As soon as I saw his little face, I was, I was, <sighs> La Peche, I was kind of like, she's the last pale one. She's the last pale ginger. She's not even really ginger. It's a sign. It wasn't a sign. Because... What you did share with me is my beloved Tinker, um, who passed. And I got to do the craziest thing and have a birthday party for them with you. Um, and that was 12 days before he died. And I managed to download that to I've got a whole hour. Um, and it was fabulous. And you shared in my private Facebook group, you gave me so much support. Um, and that's very precious. I have six LS. I had five, went down to four, went up to six. And then, of course, we have all the bonkers things. So does anybody remember Camber Sands? Went there, they've got fabulous sand dunes really high and actually walking up them while you're trying to do a tour is really difficult it was incredibly windy it looked like my hair had gone through a blender but it reminds me 
one of the things I was worried about most of all was that I would be on a tour and somebody would say you've got a bogey up your nose. And the reason for that is because I'd been on a tour and somebody had a bogey up their nose. And I remember Chloe wrote in the chat, your, something like your hair is questionable, but your nose is clear. And that is the stand of a chat that keeps me going. Um, I have looked absolutely shocking. And you have freely shared those postcards on Hago hey Voyagers. I would probably be put into a loony bin if that was a public group. Um, my hair has been beyond. The faces I pull, I did not know I could pull. And I consistently, consistently, that's so kind, Mike, consistently pull ridiculous faces. And the thing that you do is, and it dawned on me, these expressions aren't just on Hago, are they? That's what I do in life. I look like that in real life. I do this at work. I do this while I go out. This is my face. Thank you, Hago, for letting me know that's what I do because I was ignorant before and that was a safe space. Now, I um, got asked to do a private tour. Oh, you're not normal, Diane. None of us are. I mean, who wants to be normal? Asked to do a private tour for a care home. Oh, International Cat Day. How super exciting. A care home. Actually, there could be up to 20 care homes. Oh, fantastic. They didn't have that many. And you know what I realised is that the joy of the emoji cannot be underestimated because we weren't sending any emojis when asking any questions. I can happily talk away to myself for hours. Once uh, our, our elderly next door neighbour was in um, hospital and uh, my, I went along with my mum to visit. She said, I'm so glad that you came to visit because you can just talk. I can't think of anything to say. But you, you just talk. Yeah, I do that. I have no idea if they had cats at the care home. Probably not. But um, the, the the problem is with doing, um, I'd rather have a platinum medal for talking, thank you, Liz. The problem is that I do recall that on the tour, not all of the cats actually wanted to be there. And I was like, the trouble is with doing an international door, tour or a tour on International Cat Day is the cats really need to be present. And cats don't do things that, you know, they just do what they like, don't they? So that was, I think, I think actually Milo saved the day by constantly rolling over and doing things while I'm, um, basically I did a um, song at the end. I did a sing song uh, to um, Tom Jones. I mean, I'll be honest, I thought it would be a good thing to do. And then I saw the video back me singing on my own to Tom Jones. And I thought, was anybody paying attention? Was anybody wondering, why is she doing this? Sausages. But of course, I never got any feedback. I said to Ben, Ben, I'd love some feedback. Sure, I'll ask. Never got any. Never got asked again either, but not saying anything. Then we did the Mermaid Inn. Oh, that was wonderful, wasn't it? Judith, marvellous. What's up? Pussycat was the song, Tina, of course. And at the end of the tour, Judith said, are you always like that? When somebody says that, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's a positive thing. Yes, I think I probably am. I probably am. I probably am like that. That's probably me, yes. I do apologise. I think I probably woke the dose up. No, I think it was a genuine question. Are you always like that? So full of energy. Yes, that's why I'm exhausted for half my life, because I burn it all up getting overexcited. In the... Let's uh, not forget the, uh, the hats. Oh. Of course, this one I wore, didn't I, in Rochester? Maidstone at Christmas. Oh, wasn't that, wasn't that amazing, the Maidstone at Christmas tours? Oh, my goodness gracious me. Weren't they super? 
the first one I went down to where I wanted to start and it started raining and I had to run back so I was slightly right and I was all breathless and then it rained it rained and it rained then the second one it snowed it snowed and it snowed and I got stuck going home and I had six foot three Sam save me and that's all your fault where are all the animals where are all the animals probably in the lounge the snow and ice was lovely it looked beautiful and and you want to know so I went back to Hago because I thought that's a cracking tour that looked beautiful let me download it there's only been one tour ever that did not download and that was that so I went on and I had three tours of other guides that's interesting but unless I've had a sex change that's not me that's not me either and that's also not me where's my tour fortunately they went this was the time they're streaming to YouTube another drama and they sent me a link to YouTube, so I did download it. It's not great because it's not as high resolution, but it it was it was okay. It wasn't the end. It wasn't the end of the world, as it were. Um, of course, coming to the end of the hats at the moment, but this is the iconic. I mean, if anybody saw a Christmas pudding, surely you'd think of me. Of course, I got my sister on board, didn't I? The silver clay, fabulous. She's now getting a workshop built in her back garden. It's basically a big shed, but she calls it a workshop. Craft workshop, big shed. Um, and she was like, the thing is, I'll be able to do Hago tours. Hmm. Awkward. It's all right. It's YouTube. We'll sort of we'll find a way. Well, Janie, obviously somebody's going to be. I mean, I'll be honest. Have I got the head for this one? Tried to get my brother to come on board, but he, he didn't manage to. And then the collabs. Oh, the collabs. So I've met up with Natalie twice. Um, Leslie did a virtual collab, which is basically with Craig trying to get him to do the tour. And um, have another one planned. Haven't revealed it, but it's Ian and it will happen. Because of course I was gonna do the reveal. Yes, don't worry, I will finish in a mo. Um so I've forgotten now because I've distracted myself. Um and then of course we had Patrick put on a birthday tour for myself and Sayori. How fantastic. How sport am I? Had my own birthday tour. With Sayuri, but Sayuri didn't turn up for the first part, so basically it was just for me. Um, Sayuri forgot I was eating cake. We never did really find out. And if you're wondering what the purpose of the hats were, Patrick Canada, yes. If you're wondering about the purpose of the hats, I was wearing many hats. I was still me. We may be going to different platforms. We will still be us. Whatever platform I choose to go to, I will still be me. So please don't worry about what the future is going to be. Because we will still go on. Thank you, Claire. If anybody has tipped, feel free to write it in the chat so I can thank you now. Um, it has been a really, really, thank you, darling, really special time. I really appreciate your support. Um, it has been something I never thought I would do. Thank you, Nancy. And it filled a gap in my life I didn't know I had. 
which is why when Hago stopped, it broke my heart. Um, because for me, it wasn't just about doing the tours. It was about the community we had built, which is why I set up Live Virtually, See the World, because what I wanted to do is pick us up and put us in another place so we can still be connected. And there's three and a half thousand people now in Hago Voyages. No, there's 11,000 in Hago Voyages. There's three and a half thousand in Live Virtually See the World. And I think of those three and a half thousand, they are the active people. And I would ask if you're not in there yet, please do join. Please don't lose this sense of community. And I know not everybody's on Facebook. Um, John Wright is doing an email form, but please, if you're not on Facebook, just open an account just to join the group and make sure you can keep in, in, in contact. Make sure you can see where we are because we don't want to lose anybody. Um, I don't want to not see your names pop up anymore. Um, and this week I will be doing a couple of uh, tours. I will try probably a Facebook Live. And I'll probably try YouTube live. And then um, next Sunday, I'm going to be doing an actual tour, um, which is probably just going to be um, walking by the river and actually finding out how you guys are and where we're going to go next. Because if I'm honest, I haven't had a moment to think this last week about what I'm doing. I've been downloading tour recordings, I've been downloading postcards and I've been trying to get the group sorted. Um, and I do need to take some time for me. Um, oh, thank you, Marlene. Oh, always beautiful. Absolutely super. Um, it's, it's, nobody can take away what we've built. And um, with that in mind, I just want to thank, no, I don't, I want to turn the camera around. I want to thank these two. Because they're the people that made it happen. And they allowed me to stream, whereas a lot of other platforms wouldn't. Who would let this bonkers woman who has lots of cats go public? Well, they did. And now look. And that's just the next step of the journey. GB News. Great Britain News. God Bless News. Giant Bunny News. You may need to be more specific. Thank you. Oh, I see. Mike just wants to, you know, get a little in before, you know. I'm not anyone anymore, Mike. I'm a streamer at Hago. I'll be an ex streamer at Hago, but I still did it. Love you all. Thank you so much for your support. Go now and see the Natalie. And if you're late, you can blame me. But um, thank you so much for your emotional, financial support. Both mean a great deal. And yes, I will always be a goat in Amsterdam. Take care, everyone. Love you. Bye-bye.